All right, guys, so for today's adventures, I decided to bring the dogs to the dog park. I don't think Nala's ever been here before. I regret it immediately because, do you see this? It's all muck. Oh my God, they're gonna be so dirty. But they're gonna have fun. Go play, go get a ball. Go run somewhere. Stay close to me. I'll fix my hair. It's the last two videos it's just been ridiculously messy. I don't know what the hell is going on anymore. But look, this always makes me sad. They always have these. I've showed this before on here, but for all the animals that have gone over the rainbow bridge and they put their tags out here. It's so sad. I didn't put Kylie's up there. Maybe I should. So also, this is a PSI, PSA, plugs are PSA. <laughs> um, and I've said this before on my channel, but I don't buy my dog's balls because they're a choking hazard. I had a dog die, not me, a dog died at one of my work sites because he was playing ball. This exact ball, actually, or not, the, you know what I'm saying. And she had thrown it for the dog to get. It was a big dog, like it was a pit bull. And when he caught it, it lodged in his throat. And it's a hard ball. So there is no way of getting it out. And then he died. So I don't let my dogs play with these balls, unfortunately, because they love balls. But get a ball that's too big to fit down their throat. And I also kind of like the squishy ones because if I could have been able, because I tried to get the ball out of his throat, if I could have been able to squish it down, I probably could have got it out. But so careful with these balls, guys. For a small dog, this would be fine because it's not going to fit down their throat. If you've got a big dog, these are very dangerous. No cat dog. So many smells. It's actually funny because when I come here, um, when it's better weather in the summer or whatever, if there's a dogs here a lot of times they leave because they're scared of my dogs which sucks especially if somebody comes in with a small dog and there's a small dog area but it's like if they try to come in here and then they get annoyed because my dogs are bigger than theirs and in there they're not aggressive at all but they play aggressive with themselves and i shouldn't say it's aggressive but to other people it would look aggressive and they make scary noises you know and freaks people out so that sucks for them that no other dog used to they can play with but i think this vlog maybe this will be all about my dogs um so in case you guys didn't know so i have my three dogs which i love more than life itself so i have brooklyn she's the og she is a valley bulldog she's the dark one brindle she's 13 so she's up there. Um, oh, there's somebody here with small dogs. Oh, God damn. And then I have Emma, who's the big red dog. She's a pit bull um, boxer mix. And she is three. They're in the small area, so it's okay. <laughs> and... Um, no barking. And then I have Nala, who's the baby. She's a year old and she is a pit bull of all types. Red nose, blue nose, am staff, all that. So now I have to go over here and talk to this person. Well, that was eventful. <laughs> they were good. The, the girl is in her area of the dog park. But this, not this one, Emma goes crazy barking because she wants to play with them. Like she's not being mean. She just wants to play with the dogs, but she can't play with that one too little. So, anyway, they are covered in muck. So, I'm going to have to go wash them. But how am I going to do that? I'm going to have to just wash you guys at home. It was so mucky. But they had fun. Good job. Good girls. Let me get the... Yeah. Here, Emma. Watch. Ready? Emma. Ready? Now yeah, pee. Look, Emma. 
Did you get it? fun i actually love coming down to this little river thing here the girls love especially emma she almost got caught in the current but she got out um loves being in the water so it's just a nice little clean off rinse off get all that muck off them and uh but yeah it's kind of a little day with my puppies they're super good um what was i gonna say oh i want to get a kayak so badly i love kayaking when we go on vacations or get a, um, a cottage, I always want them to have a kayak because I just find it so fun. And I could bring a kayak down here um, and go in the river, but I think I need like a blow up one because I have nowhere to put like an actual plastic one. But anyway, let me know. Like, do you guys know where there's a good place to get a kayak? Like a blow up kayak maybe? I don't know. I don't know what's the best, but. I definitely want to get a kayak this summer. But anyway, these were hanging out with us, me and my puppies, get them out in the fresh air and just enjoy being out in the fresh air in the warm, feels like spring, man. Feels like spring, thank God. All right guys, talk to you later, bye.